In the vastness of Canada, secrets lurk in the shadows, whispering tales of horror and dread. As we journey across the country, we'll uncover these hidden narratives, each more terrifying than the last. From the earliest specter-infested settlements to the contemporary sites of paranormal activity, we'll explore them in their chilling historical sequence. Brace yourself for the spine-tingling tales that lie ahead, woven into the very fabric of the nation. Prepare yourself as we delve into the chilling annals of Canada's most haunted locations. Our journey begins in the 1920s in the ghost town of Valjalbert. Born as a bustling paper mill town, Valjalbert was once a flourishing community nestled in the heart of Quebec. However, its prosperity was short-lived. When the mill closed down in the 1920s, the town was swiftly abandoned, leaving behind empty structures and silent streets. Yet it's said that Valjalbert is far from quiet. Visitors and locals alike have reported eerie sightings of ghostly apparitions. Children, once the joyful heart of the town, are still heard playing in the deserted streets, their laughter echoing through the desolation. Phantom mill workers, forever bound to their earthly duties, are seen wandering aimlessly, lost in a time that no longer exists. These chilling tales, woven into the fabric of Valjalbert, give the ghost town an unnerving ambience. Valjalbert, a remnant of the past, continues to echo with the spectral sounds of its former inhabitants. Next, we travel back to the War of 1812 on the cursed grounds of Fort George. This bastion of conflict, nestled in the heart of Niagara-on-the-Lake, holds a bloody history that resonates through the centuries. Fort George served as the headquarters for the British Army, a pivotal point in the war. The fort was bombarded and captured, witnessing the loss of many lives, painting a gruesome tableau of war. The echoes of this brutal past reverberate through time, manifesting in the numerous reports of spectral soldiers meandering aimlessly, forever bound to their duty. Visitors and staff alike have experienced the chilling sounds of ghostly gunfire and phantom battle cries, an eerie soundtrack to the fort's haunted history. These spectral soldiers, it appears, are caught in a perpetual loop of their final moments. Their ghostly appearances and the whispers of battle are a chilling testament to the fort's bloody past. The spirits of Fort George, it seems, are forever locked in their eternal battle. We now venture into the heart of the Rockies to the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel, a marvel of the 19th century. Nestled amid snow-capped peaks and emerald forests, this luxury resort is a testament to human ingenuity. Its grand architecture a nod to the Scottish baronial style of the late 1800s. Yet, beneath its opulent facade, the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel harbors chilling tales that would send shivers down the spine of even the most hardened traveler. The echoes of the past reverberate through its grand halls, whispering stories of love, loss, and spine-chilling horror. The tale of the ghostly bride is one such story. Legend has it that on her wedding day, a young bride, resplendent in her flowing dress, tumbled down the hotel's marble staircase after stepping on her train. To this day, guests and staff report sightings of a spectral woman in white, dancing alone in the hotel's grand ballroom, her ethereal laughter echoing through the corridors. Equally chilling is the story of Room 873. Once a regular room, it's now a blank space on the hotel's eighth floor. It's said that a family of three met their untimely end in this room, their memory wiped clean from the hotel's records. Yet some guests have reported seeing phantom figures in the hallways, hearing hushed whispers, and feeling an uncanny chill near the location of the former room. These tales of the supernatural are not mere figments of overactive imaginations. Numerous guests and staff have reported inexplicable occurrences, sudden drops in temperature, flickering lights, and a pervasive sense of unease. The inexplicable, it seems, is a permanent guest at the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel, in the midst of the serene Rockies, the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel stands as a testament to the unseen, the uncanny, the supernatural. A place where the past refuses to be forgotten, where every corner whispers tales of times gone by, and where the living and the dead share the same space in an eerie dance that transcends the boundaries of time and reality. Our final stop takes us to the grim confines of the Ottawa Jail Hostel, a place of untold horrors. Once a correctional institution that held the city's most notorious criminals, this site is steeped in a history marred by hardship and despair. In the mid-19th century, this formidable structure served as Ottawa's Carleton County Jail, 
a place reputed for its inhumane conditions. The echoes of its past are still heard today, long after its transformation into a hostel. Guests and staff alike have reported unnerving encounters with the spectral remnants of its former inmates. Ghostly prisoners, forever bound to the place of their suffering, roam the corridors in the dead of night. The clinking of chains, a chilling soundtrack to their eternal punishment, reverberates through the cold stone walls. Footsteps, disembodied yet distinct, punctuate the silence, each one a chilling testament to the jail's dark legacy. Many a night, guests have reported waking to the sight of apparitional figures standing at the foot of their beds, their hollow gazes a haunting reminder of the building's past. Others have heard the disquieting sounds of desperate cries and whispers, the spectral echoes of those who met their end within these walls. In the chilling silence of the night, the Ottawa Jail Hostel echoes with the tormented cries of its spectral inmates, a chilling reminder of its dark past.